speaking of COVID, AstraZeneca releasing more data from its phase three COVID vaccine trial, uh, dropping the efficacy rate from 79 to 76. Meg Terrell joins us now with more on what Dr. Fauci uh, described this week as an unforced error. Good morning, Meg. Good morning, Joe. This was a seriously weird turn of events for AstraZeneca this week. Monday morning, we got the highly anticipated phase three results from its U.S. trial, 79% efficacy, which came in better than expected. But later that night, at about midnight, Dr. Fauci's uh, institute released a statement saying the oversight board said those were outdated data. So now AstraZeneca has given us the updated results just two days later, and the numbers, they really didn't change too much. Now, 76% overall efficacy against symptomatic disease. The efficacy against severe disease stayed at 100%. Uh, In people over 65, it actually went up five points to 85%. Uh, And they did have a lot more cases to count here, Um, 190 as of today's results, including eight severe cases, strength that finding from 141 and five severe cases on Monday, guys. Um, you know, a lot of folks looking at this after seeing the kind of roller coaster we've seen this week and just saying, well, the vaccine looks good, but the communications have just been awful. Dr. Nahid Bedelia tweeting, quote, at this point, I'll just wait for the FDA submission packet just to avoid any more roller coaster rides. And guys, a lot of people will be looking forward to seeing those data when AstraZeneca files, which they had said would be in the first half of April with the FDA, then three weeks later, we should see FDA's analysis of those data and we'll get to look at all of it itself. But this has just been a weird ride, made even perhaps more weird by the fact that these updated data, they didn't really change that much, guys. No, three points is, uh, I mean, when you talk about 95 for Moderna and Pfizer, and then with you're already at 79, I don't know, people would still want Moderna and and, uh, Pfizer probably, and 79 to 76 doesn't change that. But they've had a, maybe, is this the only unforced error? Because we can think of about three or four other negative data points for AstraZeneca over the past three or four months. Maybe they weren't all unforced. Yeah, there. this has been a program that has gone through more ups and downs than we've seen with others, starting with when we saw the first late-stage clinical trial data, and there were two different sets of efficacy. One was 62%, and the other was 90%, and it turned out one of those was in a group that had a mistaken dose. And so all of the data have been confusing, which was why we were so excited to see this U.S. trial set, which was going to be much better organized. And then this sort of snafu happened where there's a clear dust up between the oversight board, which which felt the data that AstraZeneca put out on Monday was outdated and perhaps even cherry picked. Um, Cherry picked to present an efficacy level that was only three points higher is a head scratcher. And I think a lot of people are still trying to figure out exactly what happened happen behind the scenes there. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.